Hey YouTube, it's me, DGIB31960. Here today, just do a quick YouTube video on um, Empire Minecraft. Uh, what you can see on the screen is the um, Empire Guide. That's what I'm pretty much doing my YouTube video over today. Um, as you can see, this is just the first page. I'm just going to go over a few of them. I'm going to go over just the basics. I'm not doing full what everything here does. I'm going to go over the basics. Okay, so give me one minute to get everything ready, and we'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Um, I got the Minecraft started up and all that kind of stuff. So first thing we're gonna go over here. Um, you don't have to worry about um, locking items in the residence. Um, residence, you can put pretty much protections on anything, as is the doors, the chest, and the switches. So. I'll go, we'll go over these really fast. I got, you can see I have Minecraft pulled up here. I'll make this full screen so can, everyone can see. Okay. First thing we'll go over is chest. Or we can go over um, furnaces and stuff like that. Basically, as you can see, I'm given this crafting table and this um, stove, furnace, or whatever you want to call it, to access to everyone. The easy way to do this, let me just grab this sign here. Pull up your sign, type in access, and everyone. Whoops, got the other seat. Yeah, I'm just typing that in normal. You can type everyone in normal as well, but I like it being cap. And then automatically puts them into that. Now let's say you want to give buttons or something in that access to someone. As you can see, I've already got one set up here with Explosion -o, Explovio um, 79 that has access to that. I really can't spell his name right off the bat, so we won't. I'm not really going to do that. But I'll go ahead and do this one, so I can. You can see how everything goes with these. You would type in access. Player, the first player you want to have access to. That's going to be Mana Blob for me. And Dwarf Man. Now they have access to this gate. This fence gate. One of my friends is talking to me. I guess he actually talked to me. As you can see here, everyone has access to this one. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is the spy pie. I'm, he's going to be in some of the video. But as you can see here on this door, if you wanted to make a concealed um, sign, you could easily just put it here in this corner and then just cover up with some woods. I'm in private chat. If you want to do a private chat with someone, you could easily do. Um, I'm gonna go out as a private chat for now. But as you seen, I just did ch for channel and then t for town. But let's say you paid for a service for the service, you could do channel s and you'd be set to supporter instead of you having the t beside your name. You can do with the s by your name. We'll, go up, we'll skip some stuff. And if you want to start a conversation with, let's say, the spy pie, you do tell the spy pie. And 
and because he's not on the server anymore, he went to SMP9. Um, I can no longer chat with him. But I guess I'll teach you guys about teleporters. As you can see, it's just a pressure plate in the ground. But if you look underneath it, whoops. Let me put that in there. Now, as you can see, it has the coordinates on it with the word teleport on top with the coordinates of where I wanted to go. And the way you do this is simply. Let's say I wanted someone to be able to go to the corner of my property. Let's say I wanted them to spawn on this block right here. Nowhere else. I can do simply res TP sign S I G N. Yes, you'll get a congratulation message saying you've actually made it. Made the sign. And then I would be you simply need an extra sign. Uh. Yeah, this one will work for me. My example. Then you dig two down. Put your sign there, or you can just stick it in the ground, depending on what you want to do. Type in teleport. See, now your thing's been created. Now put a big block on top of it. Hang on. I need a. Uh, res tp set and then you, as you can see teleport location is set that's completely different than tp um, sign if you're wondering what that sound is that's my doorbell As you can see, I just did not die from falling way from way up there. That is because in residency, you do not have the ability to die because you don't take hunger loss, you don't take um, damage. Okay, I guess the next thing I want to show you is how to lock something out in the wild. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go to the wild and show you how to lock something. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're here in the wild now. I'm out here in my wild base. My farm and my chest and all that kind of fun stuff. These ones already got lock on it. As you can see, if you do not have access to someone's locked chest, you get an error message. You cannot access because it's locked. I'll put it across the screen, that way you'll know the error message. But if you have access to it, you'll see you can just open it right up. See, 
it open for uh, so let me show you how this is done I believe it's a thousand rubies every time you do this so I'm getting I'm not gonna get I'm gonna do this but I'm not gonna get charged for it because I'm gonna r remove it before the 30 second timer how you would do this is do lock spell lock on your keyboard and then your player name you see it's purchased okay as you see I got my entire refund back but if I was go over here and move along these lock signs I want to get 500 rubies back but I really don't need a chest house right now I'm gonna put this back there's plenty of signs in there so I don't need that right now I believe the only thing that could break a lock sign would be a, a creeper so if a creeper was to get in here and explode it would cause all kinds of heck so I'm gonna go back to the res so I can show you sign colors real fast okay I'm back as you can see here I have the Empire got up very useful um, this just shows you how it would be done. This is basic color. This is the blue. There's the blue. All these different colors. So let's go ahead and do it here. So say I want to put up a sign here. Put it up right here. Let's do and sign one. And do my name. And then let's do and sign F. And as you can see, it turned my name blue, and then welcome to my shop white. Of and sign F equals white. That is how you do sign colors. Um, the only other things I could think that would be important is fault for over um, server um, transportation. So I'll go ahead and show off my vault. It costs us 10 rubies. Doesn't really kill me. That's vault. I have to put this gate in here and this fence. I could take them over to SMP9 with me now. Or whatever server I decide to join. Aggravation is when you take a stick and you get a sheep like this one here. And my sheep pen. Use your um, right click, and you get the sheep in its malt, in its um, egg form. Then I can click right there, push the sheep in there, and everyone's happy. Rubies is the currency on this game. The way you check it is do slash r, and you can check your ruby balance. You can also sign in every day and get a hundred rubies for signing in and then you can spend it on a shop of your choice even make your own shop and earn rubies that's how I get mine is by selling stuff on selling diamonds and all that kind of fun stuff setting up a shop is pretty simple I don't have nothing to sell but as we can show this off for a second first just type your name Put the amount you're selling one. Put buy for buy. What them buy from you? Let's do 15, and then do colon. This the dot dot s. Let them sell it to you for 10. And let's do number one. I think that equals dirt. If I'm not wrong. It equals stone. And then someone can come up here and click it, and they had a boss stone off of you to make sure you have stone in the chest. You can't just sell something you don't own. hitting my 15 minute deadline don't forget like this video subscribe to this video and thank you everyone at, um empire minecraft for a great server you guys have a great day bye